in all of the zombies maps. First, we're starting on Knocked. Oh, shit. We're going to do Solo, Nocturne, and Toten. I'm going to be doing this on every map. Probably, probably like once every week. Maybe like once every month. Just see how far I can get. And this this is the first ma map, obviously. Nazi zombies. Ooh. Oh my god. This creepy ass map. Okay, well. This is the first map. This is... It's not very complicated or anything. This is a very um, simple map. It's just... Literally, literally, you open this door, and then right there is the box, the mystery box, where you can get guns and everything. That's this map, in a nutshell. There's n really nothing else. And it's really, I'm pr I'll probably make it to like round 12 or 16 or something like that, and that's good for a map like this, because there's no perks or anything, and um, World of War is hard in general, because... It's just laggy gameplay. Or... It's just weird gameplay. I don't know if it's laggy or not. But what I like to do... I, did, I just like to stay in this starting room as much as I can. You never want to open up this door. Because you can't camp right there then. So I'm not going to open up that. I'm going to open up this. What the f... What the fuck is this other dude? No way this dude is on that side of the door. Where? What? How are you? Bro. This dude was on a mission, dude. Bro. What's good? What's good? <laughs> look at those eyes. Ooh, look at that tongue. Gross. Grody. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I also remember you could knife these buckets. That's that's pretty cool, I guess. There's not really much in this map. It's just kind of protect protect the building. This was this was actually um well this is probably the most unoriginal map ever because not only was this map not only was this building this map in the campaign of World of War but it was also a multiplayer map too so I think it's hands down one of the most unoriginal maps ever but I mean, this this map was made in like 2008 and there wasn't really that, that much to deal out in 2008 so you gotta give him credit. And it's still pretty fun. My favorite map on this game would have would have to be Doris though, just cause it's got the most in it. I mean, Verrucht had perks in the box, and that's it. Shinonuma, Shinonuma had the first wonder weapon. But, um, Doris and Doris like had teleporters and shit, and it had like an, I'm, it had like an Easter egg, I think, like where you shot like a teddy bear or something, and like a UFO came up. It was, it was really weird, but it was pretty awesome to hear about because it was so mysterious. And there's also like conspiracy Easter egg theories on this map too, like we're like a plane that crashed with like 115 in it something like that I don't I don't know how true that is I don't really follow zombies anymore just because infinite warfare zombies it's not really doing it for me I'll still do down the road I'll still do infinite warfare zombies too and I'll also do videos on the infinite warfare zombies when the DLC comes out, it's just 
it's just like not that fun it's not really fun but anyways we're gonna open up this uh, help door or I guess it's actually hell door Pfft. okay and here's the box wonder what we're gonna get boom oh my god Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. One of the best guns in this game. We just got it. I think this I think this sawed off was only a, was only a knocked and verucked, I think. Don't want to get that nuke. Cause the nuke doesn't give you points in this map. So it's and I need points my brother well now now that we've opened that door there's really no other mission than to uh, um just survive there's there's literally nothing else this is the map i mean i'll op there's like one more door we can open here I'll give you guys a room tour. We got the box right here. We got a radio radio right here that I think it plays music or something. I don't really care. And then you got some like lights and shit. Got good lighting. This wall right here. Zombies can come through this wall. Just watch. Next round they'll probably come through. You got out here. And then this is pretty much it. Then you got these stairs says salvation lies above so there's salvation up here you get the bar which sucks and then you got all this crap over here you got the trench gun which doesn't suck that much question pointing to the closet you, when you open this cabinet um you just get a you just get a sniper <laughs> so I don't know if that's supposed to be a troll or not, but it's like one th one thousand five hundred dollars for a sniper. It's like a two shot on round like seven. It's not that good. And then we go over here to this doorway. We get a nice a nice view, a gas can. I'm scared that I was gonna blow up or something. And then. We got this door right here, and that goes back to the spawn. Don't want to open that up, because I won't be able to camp. We got some granates. Style hand, steel, style hand grenade. Ooh, ooh. And funny enough, I'm playing this. This is a World War II game, obviously. Um, and uh, Call of Duty recently is just confirmed... Call of Duty World War 2 like the name Call of Duty World War 2 I know it's it's pretty unoriginal but I mean it's World War 2 so that's all I care about oh my gooch pull out and that sawed off wow oh my god see I'm telling you it's round 5 and it's already getting hectic but don't worry we got that sawed off okay now, if I could finish what I was going to say. Okay. So, there was pictures leaked on some website. I don't think it was leaked. I think Call of Duty actually just showed them themselves. But, um, it was on low, it was on low resolution. So, if you look it up and they look really bad. Like, that's not what it's going to look like in the actual game. But, it showed, you know, a couple pictures of just, you know, some dude holding the Tommy gun. And another picture of a dude holding the Tommy gun. And, I don't know, was, I mean, there's a whole bunch of pictures leaked. And it was never really confirmed. There were still people doubting whether it was actually real or not. Or is it just a big hoax. But, no, it's actually confirmed by Activision and Sledgehammer Games. It's actually going to be a thing. The betas. The the beta reveal. No, the reveal trailer. It's coming out. 
uh, next Wednesday. When, I don't know when. I think that, I think I'm gonna put this video up on Wednesday. So by the time you're watching this, it'll probably have come out already. But um, yeah, that's coming out soon. You have to f pay five bucks to play the beta, and that was five bucks. Go to go towards the price of the game if you buy it. So I'm probably gonna get. I don't know. Maybe I'll get uh, World War Two beta. Maybe I don't really know. I just mm, I'm thinking about it. I don't think I don't think I'll get it. Just because I got so many other video ideas that um, you know, I can just wait till the game comes out. You know, I don't need to mess with all that beta crap because. I mean, you saw, you saw Black Ops 3, um, that beta, and you know, like, the beta of that game, you know, wasn't very good, and Infinite Warfare, that beta was even worse, because you couldn't even get on the game for the, like, the first two, three days, and I was just looking at everybody, and I'm like, yep, I'm glad I'm not dealing with that. I don't know, I just like, I just want to play a full game, I don't want to play like a, a trial, so I'll just wait till it comes out, I mean, if I was, if I said I wasn't hyped, I would be lying, because, you know, just more content, that's what I'm really excited about, you know, because there's going to be a campaign, and I can upload videos on that, there's going to be a, they're talking about a new, like, weird co-op mode thing. Nobody knows what that is. Um, it's probably going to be zombies or maybe the survival mode that they had in MW2 and MW3. Or maybe it could just be, like, another campaign. But, like, World War, World War, uh, World at War style. Like, where you can play with four people. Because they said it was co-op. So I don't know what that is, but um, I'm sure as hell I'm going to play it. And then you you got the multiplayer, obviously. So, I'm pretty excited for that. I'm also excited for the new Battlefield 1 DLC. I don't know when that's coming out, but it's got to be coming out soon. I would think... Oh my god, I thought I was dead. I thought we were going to have to end this on round six. Oh my god. The thing about this map is zombies can't really hit you when you're uh, r when you're running. Due to just World of War being weird, like I was talking about earlier. World of War is just kind of weird in that way. But, um... Oh, you know what? Thanks for the nuke. I'm... Oh. Okay, you know, World of War is just weird in that way. You can just run around and not get hit, but it's so easy to get caught on stuff, like, right here. It's just, you know, you can get cornered easily. There's just zombies everywhere. It gets, it gets hectic after a while. So that's why this map is so hard. Oh, you know what? I don't even know if this is going to be good or not. Nope, it's not good. Not good at all. Please, please, please. No, that's... No! 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 Stay back, you zombies! No! Boom! Saw it off. No! Oh my god! Oh, it's so nerve-wracking. It's life or death every time. Man, it's only, and the thing is, it's only round eight. It's only round eight right now. You know, you see people get to round 100. It's just the same one after round like five. It's the same thing over and over again. Oh my god! And, um, about this high round, 
high round um, series. I think I'll like because there's some uh, there's some maps where like it's gonna be hours because it's just the map is so easy to play. I think the cutoff, like the cutoff round, I'll just have it at 50. If I make it to 50, then I'll just like I'll probably like kill. I'll probably like sacrifice myself, kill myself, just because I can't be playing. I can't be playing all day, dude. I don't have it in me. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm not. You think about this. Ray gun is. Wasn't really good in World of War. Well, it wasn't really good in this map. Because the splash damage. Like, if I, if I shoot this right now, I'm dead. Like, if I shot it at the ground at my feet right now, I would be dead. Because it's just. The splash damage is so bad. And it's just so dangerous to use. That sometimes it's not even worth it. You just use it. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about. You get stuck on stuff. It's so nerve wracking. Wop, wop. Get the. Ah! Okay, now we pull out the ray gun. Knife. Ooh, thank you. Okay, we're at round nine right now. I think, I think I'll just keep these guns. These are pretty good. Maybe I can try to get the Molotovs. You know, just for, just for old times' sake. That's, that's a Springfield. No, thank you. Wait, is that a Springfield? I think that's a Springfield. I don't know what that thing is, on the end of the barrel, but. Okay, let's hit it again. We won't. Whoa, thank you. Okay, now everybody's probably gonna hate me because I took away the, I took away the ray gun. I'm sorry. This gun's just, just a lot better. And oh, okay. Um, and if you enjoyed this. <laughs> If you enjoy this high round attempt, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh my god. Ten rounds. Well, everybody's everybody's gonna know how great I am at zombies. Okay, if you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe if you want another map. Next map is Verrucked. And I'll see you next time. Bye!